everybody. So I am going to be doing a full day of eating. I've had so many requests saying, what's my diet? What do I eat? So today is the day. I'm going to show you everything I eat in a day. This is my full day of meals right here. Six meals. I got snacks. I got desserts to crave that sweet tooth I got going on. I got everything I need all right here. And I'm going to take you into the kitchen now. Come with me and I'm going to show you how I prepare every single dish. On top of that, I'm going to show you one of my favorite desserts that you can eat every single day and you don't have to feel guilty. So the first thing I do in the morning is I wake up, I get my coffee, I take a scoop of protein in with about that much water and a shaker, I shake it up and I use that in its place. I don't use almond milk or milk or sugar. I use protein powder and coffee. I also do my supplements, which I'll do this ahead of time. I'll do six days worth of supplements. Um, I put it all out, my vitamin C, my multivitamin, my flaxseed oil, my aminos, which I do branched chain amino acids, and glutamine, and I put everything out, all organized, ready to go. So in the morning, that's the first thing I do, and then I head to the gym for my cardio. First real whole food meals are my protein pancakes, and they are really, really simple. I do a third of a cup of old-fashioned oats, Make sure they are the plain old fashioned oats. I do about a tablespoon of the chia seeds. I do one scoop of protein powder. So that's just one scoop. Um, and then I use a whole egg and an egg white. Then a teaspoon of cinnamon and a half a cup of water and blend. We fall, we pour into your pan and then you can top it off with a few walnuts. I just take like one or two walnuts, sprinkle it over it. That's pretty much it. You can do this with cranberries, you can do this with raisins, you can do this none. Doesn't matter what you got, what you like, what you don't like. Um, and I already have one done, so I'm gonna show you what it looks like. There you go, that's pretty much it. It's ready to go. You can top it with uh, protein peanut butter or some sugar-free syrup. Then I will head back to the gym um, and do my resistance training. So I keep all of my higher carbohydrate meals geared around my active hours or my gym time. And then when I start tapering toward the evening and I'm not in the gym and I'm just home, that's when I start doing a very low carb. Uh, the last few meals are always very, very low carb. And that is a great way to stay tight. So on to the next meal. Important thing for meal prep is always have a scale. Uh, the reason why is because our eyes can be very deceiving and we can think that we're having a small meal and in actuality it's more than what we actually need. Um, and I usually will do four ounces of carbohydrates and six ounces of protein uh, for my height and my goals. Put all my meats in the crock pot. It makes things so simple for me. Um, and you can do chicken breast, you can do pork, but I will season it. Um, one of the things that I'm into right now is I use a lot of Spanish seasonings and I'll use some salsa and some tomatoes and some peppers, onions, garlic, and I throw them in a crock pot walk out the door and I have my meals set at the end of the day. Um, and then of course I do quinoa um, as a carbohydrate. I try to keep my carbohydrates complex, so I'll do quinoa or I'll do sweet potato or brown rice. Um, but again, it's four ounces here of quinoa and six ounces of protein. So one of the big issues with people on diets or people trying to live a fit lifestyle is that they do not keep their diet with a lot of variety. And what ends up happening is they get burnt out after time and give up, and that's when they put the weight back on. So it's really, really important to constantly come up with new ways of enjoying fit foods. It makes you feel like you're not being deprived, and that's why I don't do the same thing every single meal. I try to mix it up, um, and I always try to find new ways to make uh, vegetables uh, delicious and feel like you're having carbohydrates or 
you know, a gourmet meal, but really they're, you're basically eating your water. <laughs> uh, cauliflower rice with the chicken or the pork that I did in the crock pot. How I do the cauliflower rice is I will clean my cauliflower. I will take off the big part of the stem. The key to making cauliflower rice is keeping the cauliflower super, super tiny. So, you know, you wanna chop very, very, very fine. I use extra virgin olive oil. I always measure out my fats. Um, I do a tablespoon. And make sure your pan is super hot. Uh, your cauliflower rice. I will use onion powder, parsley, oregano, black pepper. A little bit of adobo, which is a seasoning, a Spanish seasoning. And that's pretty much it. So one of my final meals, again, I'm starting uh, to eat less and less carbs as the day goes on. So again, I will do veggies and protein. And I love this recipe because it's delicious and it is low calorie and in the diet. So what I'll do is I'll blanch my Brussels sprouts in some hot water, just blanch them. And um, once they're blanched, then you go ahead and chop the ends and cut them in half. And once you finish all of that, you will throw the halves into a foil and panned pan. So I'm sure you have seen this recipe. Um, it's like a fad right now in restaurants, the uh, fried Brussels sprouts. Uh, there, You see this on the menus all the time, roasted Brussels sprouts, but I do my own version. Again, I measure out your fats, extra virgin olive oil, one tablespoon, drizzle that on top. I like to use red onion. You guys can use any type of onion. So you can do some chives, you can do some cilantro. Remember, to, all that stuff is free. Again, I use a little bit of salt, pepper, onion powder, parsley, oregano. Mix it up really good. And throw it in a 375 oven until it gets nice and toast it on the edges, and that's a delicious side to add with your protein on your last meal. Uh, vegetables in my diet, because um, it's filling, and um, that really helps, especially when you're trying to stay tight and have your body go after reserves. So I love my big salads, um, and I will use a combination of all types of lettuce, spinach, field greens, iceberg. I like right now I'm doing a Greek salad, so I'll throw some olives, onions, uh, fat-free feta cheese, cucumbers. I like to put, um, you know, chives. You can put some cilantro in there. Um, and then for dressing, I never ever use store-bought dressing. What I do is I take garlic cloves, um, lemon juice or balsamic vinegar, a little bit of extra virgin olive oil, salt and pepper, mash it up in the motor, and that is my dressing. And this is a great way to feel full, satisfied, but at the same time, um, not eating a lot of calories. Now, I know a lot of you ladies, or I've actually had a lot of ladies tell me, well, I go, you know, and I have a salad at the restaurant. Well, by the way, a lot of those salads, be careful. They actually have sometimes the same amount of calories as having a burger because they add a lot of stuff on there that you don't realize, whether it be croutons or fried onions or bacon bits or cheddar cheese, but all this stuff adds the calories that basically are the same as having a burger. So make your own salads, ladies. That is the way to go. Fill up on salads and on to our dessert for the fall season. Can't wait to show you my keto pumpkin pie. I start out with the crust. What I use is old-fashioned oats, raw walnuts. You can use any nuts. Um, I'll do one-third of a cup of oats, a handful of walnuts crushed up, and there's some also keto cereal uh, that I've also mashed up into this bowl. I use a sugar-free syrup, about a fourth of a cup, and I use a tablespoon of extra uh, virgin coconut oil. Now, I, since I prep my meals ahead of time and I make them 
portioned for myself. I actually will do them in cupcake um little cupcakes so that way they're already portioned out but you don't have to do this like this you can put it in a normal pie uh, pan a glass or tin it's up to you um, now in the food processor i will put the two baked sweet potatoes i will put uh three whole eggs i put two scoops of the pumpkin flavored Place a teaspoon of the crust at the bottom. Once you've done that, you will take the crust again and you will put it on the top. cupcakes out of the oven and basically you just poke them with a butter knife and if they come through clean they're done that's how they look yum They ask me what do they do for snacks what can I snack on so I actually will make this from scratch and then I will do a bunch of celery or any vegetables that you like broccoli whatever you like raw veggies I keep them in baggies and I keep them ready to go so thanks guys so much for watching full day of meals along with my seasonal recipes for the fall I hope you got something out of this don't forget to leave your comments down below I will be answering all of them and hit the like button and subscribe to cool fit TV YouTube channel until next time guys World.